Hi folks, we're going to talk today about feeding your bees. In the fall, it's time for the bees to do their chores, kicking out the drones, sealing up cracks and holes with propolis. It's time for us to do our chores too, taking out miticides, putting in mouse guards, putting on insulation. We might also have to feed. And it's important to understand feeding is an emergency thing. It's not a normal thing. You can avoid feeding by making sure that you don't over harvest. In early fall, check the brood chamber before taking the honey in your supers. You may have to leave some honey for the bees. You can do this by weighing or looking at the frames to see if they have capped honey. What is a good amount of honey for bees to have during the winter? In New York State and areas around there, what we want is for the double deep hive to weigh 130 pounds. Now, if you don't have a scale and you can't weigh your hive, this would translate into, in the top box, nearly every one of the frames will be nearly full of capped honey. In the bottom box, the frames would be about half full of capped honey or maybe up to three quarters or more full of capped honey. And the remainder of the space is taken up by the cluster and some small amount of brood. This equates to approximately 80 to 90 pounds of honey. If necessary, in early fall, feed them two to one sugar syrup. That means thick syrup. You could also buy ProSweet from Better Bee. If you do have to feed syrup in the fall to get the hive's weight up, do it while the bees still have good temperatures for flying. This means 55 degrees and above for a few weeks while you're feeding. We want this so that the bees will still have days when they can have what beekeepers very delicately call cleansing flights. And that means going to the bathroom, which they do while they're flying. We can't feed them sugar syrup after they've made a cluster and they're socked in and it's cold. At that point, we have to feed them solid feeds. How do you know if you have to feed your bees? Well, as I mentioned, you can look at the frames and see if they're full of capped honey, or you can heft the hive, which means lifting up one side of it or the back of it or the front of it to get a feel for how heavy it is. Another thing you could do is just open the outer cover in the winter and look at the hole that's in the center of the inner cover. If the bees are up to there in the winter, it's possible that they need feed because they may have come up through all the honey that they had stored already and eaten it. When it's necessary to feed in the winter, when it's cold and the bees cannot fly, we need to feed solid things like winter patties, fondant, sugar bricks, or just plain granulated white sugar. All of these feeds need a little bit of extra height because you put them on the top bars of the top box. You could use a shim, any empty super you have around, or a deep rim inner cover. Better Bee sells winter patties. The ingredients are mostly sugar. There's a little bit of corn syrup, a little bit of honey bee healthy, and a little bit of plant proteins. Don't be fooled by the light brown color of winter patties. They are not pollen patties. They are not protein patties. They are not global patties. These three things are something that people feed their bees in the spring if they are planning on splitting a hive. Global patties, pollen patties, protein patties, all stimulate brood rearing. And you do not want this in the middle of winter. To put on your patties, smoke the bees down, lay a shim on, make sure that the plug does not interfere with you putting the covers on later, lay the patties on. If you want to turn the plug inwards like I did, that's fine. I'm making sure that I have my inner cover slot as ventilation. 
And I also keep an insulation board at the top under my outer cover. Another carbohydrate solid food that you can feed your bees besides winter patties is fondant. Basically fondant is the same kind of stuff that people frost wedding cakes with. You could buy it from your beekeeping supply house or from a bakery supply. Another thing you could use for winter feed is white sugar. You can use it as is, or you can make it into dehydrated sugar bricks, which have the consistency of sugar cubes. Sugar bricks are made with a small amount of water and a tiny amount of vinegar, and then you need to dehydrate them, and this takes some time. If it's a true emergency, you could just put the white sugar straight out of the bag onto either a sheet of newspaper or tissue paper or some similar paper which you lay on top of the frames in the top box. The bee's breath will make a kind of crust on the pile of sugar. It won't flow down all over them when they nibble through the paper. Be sure to leave a crack at the front so that your paper does not block off their little ventilation hole. Remember folks, the basics of feeding in the winter are, first of all, try not to over harvest and be aware of how much honey is in the brood chamber before you harvest. Secondly, if there's time in the early fall, feed thick sugar syrup. Thirdly, if the weather has become cold and the bees cannot fly, you have to feed solid foods. And these solid foods all need a little extra height because they are placed on the top bars inside the hive. Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped. Be sure to check out some more of Better Bees videos and classes. See you next time.